Hey guys, it's OSS from Samsung Galaxy S3 Soft Modder. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get Android style iOS 7 control center. So basically what that means, it's the iOS 7 control center look, but it's the Android system setting. So you can customize a whole bunch of things, you can add a ton of different apps, it's just way more intuitive and advanced than the iOS version. And the first thing we're going to do, before we download it, because it's an external link, it's not from the Play Store, is we're going to go to our settings and we're going to make sure that we have enabled unknown sources. So that goes, it's in security, and you scroll down under device administration, and you're going to check unknown sources. Now that we've done that, we can download the APK from the link, install it right here. I've already installed it, but you're just going to tap it right there, or you can go to your downloads in the app drawer, and you can install it from there. And once installed, it'll show up on your device. Which you'll just go here, sorry, it's in the apps. And you'll see, you'll notice two things. Well, you'll notice one thing. And there are two, um, two applications. So here's the Android Control Center. You tap on that, it'll come up anytime you tap on that. And here, the separate application is the settings. You can also obviously swipe up just like you would on iOS 7, and the Control Center will come up. But here's where the fun is. You can see this pretty long list of all the things that you can actually change the toggles, music controls, the swipe detector settings so you can make it more sensitive you can increase the size, you can swipe up or you can swipe down, you can swipe left whatever you want um, let's go back and then here's the cool part is where you can change so many things about the look and the feel of it so if you want to change the text color as you can see, let's just go back so we make sure text color is this bright blue and go back here and we'll just slide these little sliders over and let's make it, I don't know what color I like it, let's just make it, yeah we'll make it white, click OK um, active button color was white, let's make it red OK divider color is those little lines that you'll see, it was blue again we'll make these gray, I don't know, you can just do whatever you want, you can click manual mode and if you know the the text number or the, the color code or whatever you can enter that in there I mean now let's just see my changes so you can see right there what it looks like text is white now red you can change the size everything it's awesome so from here these are the standard ones volume Bluetooth um, wireless orientation lock etc and then here you can add applications. So you see I've already added camera and gallery. And it's really easy. All you do is you click this. It'll automatically take you to your little app list. And then you can just add. So let's just add downloads. And then to check if it's there, swipe up. There it is. You can add up to 10, including including the standard five. So that's 15 quick access apps that you've just added to your control center. So, it's just a super easy app, greatly customizable, um, easy to run, easy to use, free to download, which is the best part. And if you, I mean, just in, in case you were wondering, if you don't like the colors that you do, you just tap this right there, and then it goes back to, back to normal. You can also just do stock themes as well, so we can just do dark, or we can do light, but I prefer the holo theme the best. So... That's really it. I mean, you can go ahead and mess around with a whole bunch of different things and general preferences is just um, enabling, showing battery percentage, what do you want to show the time as, etc., etc. You can do a whole bunch of things. It's a great app, a whole bunch of different um, settings that you can choose, which makes it so much better than the iOS 7. But then again, that's just what Apple does. So this is why it's Android style. It's just more for you to do. So um, make sure to check that out in the XDA forums link that I've provided in the full tutorial. And also make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.